students today we shall tag the sonnet from william wordsworth a great romantic poet he is also known as a nature poet poet of nature the world is too much with us this is a beautiful sonnet the world is too much with us late and soon getting and spending we lay waste our powers little we see in nature that is us we see sorry we have given our hearts away a sordid boon first we take these first four lines the world is too much with us It means the poet wants to say that we are so much indulged in this in these world these worldly activities where we keep ourselves engaged late and soon then and now the world has been too much with us we have been too much indulged in the worldly activities getting and spending means we have been materialistic we lay waste our powers little we see in nature that is ours means we waste our emotional and and uh, psychological and religious aspects religious powers our in getting and spending in materialistic activities and we do not pay heed in nature that is uh, very much our own nature means the wildness the uh, beauty of the nature that is that we inherit in this world and we do not pay heed the beauty of the nature and we are engaged in materialistic world we have given our hearts away means we have given our our hearts away this is very simple line a sordid boon so we have gifted ourselves a bad gift sordid means dirty bad and boon so here this is a bad gift we have given ourselves so it is a point to be pondered for all of us that by being worldly and in worldly activities we have given up our given our hearts away a gift that is not so good so we see this rhyme soon and boon first and four line and second or and third line rhyme pass us so this is the point, technical point regarding rhyme next four line we take this sea that bears her bosom to the moon the winds that will be howling at all hours and are up gathered now like sleeping flowers for this everything we are out of tune means we are so unable to see the beauty of nature a great imagery is presented here the of the sea and the sea has been personified as a woman and the sea bears her bosom shows her chest to the moon to in the night the and the winds are up gathered there howling winds are there all the hours and are up gathered there now like sleeping flowers and the winds that were howling all of the day are now just like sleeping and are like the, those winds are sl- just like sleeping flowers for this for everything we are out of tune and we are out of tune with nature with the beauty of nature that is there that is our very own and we do not take pleasure in nature and we are out of tune out of touch with nature it moves us not further he says it moves us not means the beauty of nature 
does not touch our heart then he exclaims great god this is a strong exclamation great god i would rather be a pagan circled in a creed out one so might i standing on this pleasant lee he wishes very deeply with great uh, what we can say emphasis he says great god i would rather be a pagan means it was better to be a pagan for him pagan when in a, in that time when he wrote the whole of the england was predominantly christian so he wishes that he was that if he were a non christian pagan means non christian circled in a creed out one and he circled means breast fed means nurtured if he had that kind of upbringing in a creed out one in a religion that is now no more that is a thing of past like uh, the greek religion greek mythology we see so he wishes to be to be a pagan circled in a creed out one so might i so that he could standing on this pleasantly by standing on this amid this natural uh, natural place uh, full of nature greenery have glimpses that would make me less forlorn and standing on this lee he could have got those glimpses which could have made him less forlorn could have made him uh, away from all the worries of the world have sight of proteus rising from the sea and standing on this pleasantly he could have enjoyed the sight of sea sight of sea of proteus rising from the sea proteus is the uh, son of sea god and he could have he could have got pleasure there on the bank on the bank of the sea standing on that pleasantly have sight of proteus rising from the sea he wishes to have that sight or hear all written blow his wreathed horn and he could have enjoy the sounds of the sea so sweet and so dear to hear he could have enjoy the the waves of the sea triton is another a sea god so by referring to these two sea gods proteus and triton he connects himself to the creed out one to the religion that is no more and he wishes that if he had been a non christian and connected to a religion that is out one he could have hear the sounds of the sea and can visualize the beauty of the sea so he is a great poet of nature and he connects with nature in one or the other way and he considers many a time nature as a human being he personifies nature again here also he has personified the sea and he is again uh, in a sense uh, says that we are unable to see the beauty of nature and we have become so much engrossed so much in worldly activities engrossed ourselves so in the uh, final uh, six lines he suggests a problem a solution of the problem the problem of our being out of tune with nature and he suggests the solution that in one or the other way we could hear and visualize and see the beauty of nature and can 
relax ourselves in the lap of nature so he is a great poet of nature and you should study the other poems of nature by wordsworth as well which shall take some other poems from wordsworth which are in your course till then try to understand thank you